Put your teeth off. Uh, heard today, State Farm had a $13.5 billion loss last year and shut down their call centers a little while ago and now just sold their big corporate building. Might be big news. Dang, that's a big insurance company to go under. $13.5 billion loss? How do you lose that much money as an insurance company? It's like printing money. And how do you get away with not having any customer service? Um, well, they've been closing offices since 2017. Uh, DuPont office closed, 40 offices closed, California. Um, problem with State Farm and Farmers is that I get them confused all the time as to which one's which, and they're both insurance companies. It's from November 2021, State Farm halted by policy bankruptcy and bid to join. Huh. Closing the city office, close it's something that's closing offices all over the place. This appears to be one of those things where you close offices and they've and they, every article is like closing 100 offices in this state, 55 offices in that state, is that you close all the offices and suddenly people don't come in and buy your services. And if they don't come in and buy your services, your revenue drops, but you're trying to save money on your offices, but the amount of money you saved on your offices is less than the money you made from like people buying your services. And so this this is exactly, this is like classic BCG strategies, it looks like. Did BCG ever? State Farm, Boston Consulting Group. Let's just see if there's any ties here. <clears throat> State Farm Career, State Farm, I'm looking for if there's a State Farm. I'm not seeing anything that connects State Farm with Boston Consulting Group. Oh, it's Business Consulting, Sears. Hmm. I'm not seeing any connection there, but this is this is definitely like their fingerprint. Where, you know, hey guys, and I notice you have all these offices all over the country. How about you close a bunch of them and go to just a call center? And they go, uh, okay. And they close a bunch of them and then no one gets your policies. And they're like, hey guys, I see your call center costs you money. How about you close that too? And they go, okay. And they close their call center. And then there's no way to contact State Farm to get insurance. And then you lose $13.5 billion. <laughs> uh, Qu uh, Quantum Shore State Farm took losses because outsized auto claims. Auto claim value is rising because of shortages this last year. Ah, so, and if you are underwater on your uh, uh, car loan, because all car loans are just freakishly expensive right now, best thing you can do is smash that car into a wall and be like, oh, it's wrecked. You guys got to pay for it. Oh, well, peace. So I wouldn't doubt if there's a whole bunch of insurance fraud going on with uh, really expensive cars. And, you know, you take your, you buy your Dodge Hellcat or whatever, you smash that, you get rear-ended, and then you take the engine, you put it into the car, the shipbox you're working on, and uh, the car goes to Copart and auctions off for pennies. <laughs>